built some motor mounts and using the modified hoist there, that's working out really nice. I was able to put the engine in with an overhead crane. When I got it in the shop here, I can lift the motor with that uh, hoist. Fits just right. Got some motor mounts built here. Had to make them a little taller than the original ones uh, for the update. Let's just climb up into the into the back here. Show you what's going on. Then, we'll, as I go, I'll try to get more video clips and be better about it. But uh, there she is. Got her hanging. Let me see the pedestals down there. I built two of those, and then uh, the motor mounts there on the bench go up at the up at the front. And uh, Grinding some clearances in the motor mounts there, but uh, yeah, when I get going here, I'll I'll shoot a few clips and try try to keep you up to date and uh, the big progress of the thing. But we're it's going real well. The shaft alignment worked out really nice. I just hung the engine in position with the hoist there, and then I just built the motor mounts in place to where the uh, shaft lines up with the front of the transmission so here's the here's the shaft i made a made a little bushing that centers the uh shaft into the shaft log here so it's lined up with that and the strut in the back so you basically put the motor in uh that's that's your uh point that you're lining to and then there's a hub that fits on the end of this here that uh, has to be flat within a thousandth of an inch to the surface and, and we're we're right there so we're just gonna have to grind a little bit more clearances on these little notches for my for my mount and uh, once that's done then uh, I'll start the next course of the project which is taken out taken out this has to move to the other side of the boat and uh, the water intake and then there's a water intake for the wash down pump back there that has to all be moved to the other side of the boat and then my exhaust will be here and there's of course the outlet for the exhaust but the drop muffler is going to have to go right here and uh, somewhere in here we haven't crossed that bridge once I get the motor set then I'll get down that road but these uh, transducers here are also coming out of the bottom because they're in the way of the uh, prop underneath that's the tunnel and uh, it's creating some aeration ahead of my prop and stuff like that you're not supposed to have any kind of disturbance in that area but it's run that way for 20 years so but we're going to make it right as long as I'm here doing it and I gotta patch the bottom anyway for to move that cooling water I just well take them transducers out of there. I don't use them anymore anyway because I got the new Garmin system on the Navonics wise so anyway quick video I'll uh, show you a little progress as we go along <laughs> 